What's going on? Welcome on into OGMC. That's the online gaming man cave. And I'm your main man, built up real nice. And today we're going to go over how to install those SSD drives to give you a little bit of extra storage on those computers. And also that RAM you want to add in there. I'm going to show you how to get those RAM sticks in the right spots and to make sure you get the right one so your computer doesn't go all funky or whatever the case is. But before we dive into that, <laughs> make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, you know, <laughs> just so you can get a little more content for moi in this channel. Let's get into it. All right, first, I always like to give a breakdown of my setup and what I'm running. I am running a RDY Y17 Height R01 iBuy Power Computer. If you see the case, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 9 7900 X CPU Geoforce RT 470 Ti Super. 32 gigs of RAM is what I already have in there. My motherboard, you see the title there, and I have two TB um of ssd and a three-year standard warranty this is just my bill so you guys know what i'm working from because different motherboards have different spots for ssd cards and also different spots on where your graphics cards need to go in now when searching for graphics cards make sure they match up with the motherboard and they're compatible and make sure they are all the same speed now when we talk about speed and i'm going to show my actual computer here in a second but when we talk about speed you're going to have to go to your motherboard website and you're going to have to put in the extra RAM that you're buying for your computer to make sure it matches up with the slots and to make sure it matches the RAM you already have. Each RAM is different, but you want to make sure you are working at the same speeds for all your RAM sticks. That is very imperative before buying new RAM sticks. Me, I ordered the DDR5 Delta ones and I'm running at a speed of 5,600. You see in the top right hand corner, and these are the same ones that I have put into the computer or the same ones that I bought in this pre-built so they will match exactly. The worst thing to do is go buy some RAM sticks that don't match your computer so you're out of money and you gotta send them back. As far as my SSD drives goes, this is what I went with, the WD Black 4TB Gen 4 and it works in my system. I made sure I did my research, it's compatible. I will post the links to the RAM sticks and the SSD drives that I purchased down below in the link so you can do your research on yours as well if you have the same bill they are compatible and they work very well i'm just putting the specs on here so you guys can see uh for my tech heads but yes i'm going to input these two things into my cpu to make it go a little bit faster since i do a lot of work and i need a lot more memory now when we look at this from a different angle we're basically just going to be installing 32 more gigs of ram and our ssd drive First, you must pop off the front glass. You just take the top left-hand corner and pop it back and it comes straight off. You guys' front uh, faceplate may come off differently, so please read the instructions on your, how your CPU is built, but this is just specifically how this one is built. And as we zoom in, we're gonna see what we're gonna input our RAM, which is between those two uh, sticks we already have, and then our SSD card. It's actually not gonna go right there below in the left-hand corner. It's actually behind my graphics card which is one of the big mistakes I made in this video. And I'll show you that. So be sure you locate your SSD slots and drives. Some CPUs only have one, others have two. So make sure you have two SSD drives so you can actually put ex external storage and more storage onto your hard drive and CPU. Now, as we get a closer look on this and I actually put a flashlight in here, you're gonna see each RAM slot has a click at the top and then click at the bottom where the RAM sticks will be inserted. So there's a little black piece at the top and a little black piece at the bottom. I'm showing you that my RAM sticks do match the ones that I already have. Uh, and it actually is a better guide to show how they can go in the slots and that they're fit correctly. So I did a lot of research to make sure I got the exact same RAM sticks. And like I said, every RAM stick is not gonna be the same. And then I'm basically, I'm just gonna input them in. I already got my clicks up at the top which are the latches that hold the, the RAM into place. And so as you see here, I'm gonna pop it straight in securely. And I'm gonna make sure I'm aligned up. Once that side is pressed in securely, I'm gonna do the same thing with my other RAM stick. I have put my latches up on both the bottom and top, and I'm gonna insert my second RAM stick. Now I'm inputting 32 gigs of RAM, which means both of these are 16 a piece, but four of these total gives you 64 gigs of RAM. Now, as you're looking right here, you see me struggling a little bit. It's because the bottom latch of this RAM stick was not completely released. So I had to go back 
and released the top and bottom latches again to make sure it went securely in. And I could tell it was a little bit off because it wasn't flush evenly with the other ram sticks right beside it. So once I got that fixed in and the latch back at the bottom, everything was flushed in and everything looked good. All to right, go. now our ram sticks are flushed in, they're secure, they're in place. I'm just double checking them right here to make sure nothing is wiggling and out of place. They are secure, they're even. And now it's time to put the power plug back in and crank this thing up. We hit the power button, it's gonna crank right up. And if this is installed correctly, all four of my RAM sticks should light up. That looks beautiful. Now just wait, just wait. Allow your computer time to boot all the way back up. Now, once you boot up and give it like three to four minutes, seriously, let it boot all the way back up, you're gonna get a message like this. And basically this is saying, hey, if you inputted new RAM sticks or four new RAM sticks and you have a different speed, you need to let your computer know that. If your computer automatically recognizes the new RAM sticks that you put in and they're the same speed as your other RAM sticks, you still wanna go in to make sure everything is in the line. And so the way you go about doing that, you're gonna tap into it and you're gonna go in your BIOS. Your overclock settings, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Do not click on optimize performance profile. That's not gonna do anything for you. You literally wanna scroll down to your RAM speed. Mine is already saved to auto, so it's already set at 5600, which is my RAM sticks. But if you bought new RAM sticks, this is where you're set the new speed. So if you went up to 6000 or 6500, this is where you're set the new speed for your BIOS, you'll exit, you'll save the settings, and then your computer will boot right up. Now, once you log into your computer, if you go in, put specs into your search bar, you can click on your system information and there you see it. I am working with 64 RAM of gigabytes now, which is gonna make my computer a little bit faster, make it move a little bit faster, make it move a little bit better. And being that I stream and do a whole lot of things from music to streaming and recording at the same time, this is imperative that I wanted to add on my streaming PC and it works like a charm. Now, I'm gonna show you my SSD card, my old one, and show you what not to do when you're installing your SSD drive. This is my old SSD drive that had my windows on it, all my files, all that type of stuff. I took the wrong one out. And this is where you need to check your computer and see if you have more than one SSD drive where the SSD can go. You don't ever wanna take out your main drive that has your windows and all the program startups and all your files on it. You don't ever wanna do that. So now you're gonna see me go in here take out the new SSD drive 4TB, which is blank, in the slot that I wasn't supposed to put it and put my old one back in and then move my new SSD drive to my new slot.
So as we go into it, you wanna make sure you have the right RAM sticks ordered. You wanna make sure they're the right speeds. You wanna make sure you install your SSD cards in the right slots. Some CPUs only have one slot, which is your main drive. And so if you're planning to upgrade your SSD, you're gonna to have to wipe the other SSD, put Windows on it or transfer, transfer it into the new SSD card so Windows can actually run your computer. But we've already talked about all that. Like I said, this is Online Gaming Man Cave. Make sure you stay tuned for more content, more tech tips, more gaming tips, and just local stuff that happens in the games I play.